Hey everybody, this is Joby, and uh, today I want to show you guys how to farm flour, a really easy way to do it. And uh, if you've ever tried to buy flour from the guild trader, it's super expensive, and also finding it in the wild is, can be problematic. But before we get started, I'd like to ask everybody, please like this video and subscribe to the channel. And please hit the notification bell, that's the best way to help me grow. Watch my videos. I make a video every single day no matter what I have about 468 videos in my catalog you can watch my playlists or you could do a search on my channel find whatever you're looking for all right so let's get started so my guildie and friend gumdrop mentioned to me about this farm and it is great because ever since sugar skulls came out you need flour and honey and uh, if you go to the guild trader, a stack of flour is like 40000 50000 It's always been expensive because it's hard to find. So where we are right now, I am in Stonefalls, which is right above Mournhold. And I'm in Davin's Watch. You just come to the Davin's Watch Way Shrine right around the back here. Head over to these docks. Where we are is the... Um, this is where they have the uh, celebration. Is it... Leave Jubilee celebration and the guy will be right here and you make the cake to be able to get the cake for the double XP and uh, there's sacks of honey there's a well that one's empty flour another one and then one over here and that's perfect because honey is what you need and flour there's some bananas and stuff too if you need that those are the two things you need to make uh, sugar skulls. Use it all the time, but it is kind of expensive to make. That's okay. I think it's the best food. Okay, so I've collected all the flour and uh, honey from here. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and port to a guildie and uh, try to get this to reset. So I'll be right back. Okay, so uh, what I did is ported to one guildie and then I just ported to the farthest point I was, wherever that guildie was, and then I poured it back here. So three times, so let's see if it resets. Hopefully it will. Oh yeah. Uh, another thing that's really important to point out is this is not stealing. So you can just sit here and take the stuff and you don't really have to worry about it. Some of them don't reset, but it doesn't matter. You can just keep doing it. So. The best way is to port to a guildie, port to some person that you know, just anywhere, it doesn't matter. And then maybe port to one more place, you know, that's uh, just far away on the map. And then when you come back, it, a lot of them will be reset. Okay, so there's another alternative. What you can do is uh, come to Volkel Guard, which is in Orodon, the very bottom. And... You want, I'm here at the boat, and then what you want to do is uh, go down to this dock. Because all the starter areas are going to have these same uh, flower sacks and honey sacks. So we've got flower sack, flower sack, and then another one. Okay, we've got some honey barrels. And all you have to do, you can even get on the boat. Okay, let me try to do this jump. There we go. This is a lot. So, honey barrel. Two flower sacks. In the boat. And then there's another one in Daggerfall. You can go to, uh, to Daggerfall. So, what I'm going to do is... If I can get out now. Oh, every time I'm going to be looking at that. Wait. There we go. Jump up. Arr. So I've got that. And now what I can do is I can actually uh, get on the boat and go back to Davin's Watch from here. So maybe start here and then get on the boat and go back to Davin's Watch. Okay, so I can get to Glenumbra from here. And I'll just talk to her and we'll be on our way. We can find room. Safe travels. I can either go to Stonefalls or Glenumbra. Okay, so I've landed in uh, Glenumbra. And if I want to go back, all I have to do is talk to Azufa. And then this way, see, I just go, can take me to another alliance. 
Stone Falls or Oradon. Those are the two places. So we just get on our horse right over this way. It's all the way at the end here of this pier. And then go down. You can see on this boat. Here's all the flower sacks. So here, here, honey barrels, similar to honey pots. More stuff. If I get on the boat, I'll be able to get these honey barrels. And the flower sacks. And another sack. It's empty. So, this is a pretty easy way to get all the things you need. You can get a lot of stuff too. You can search the sacks for other things. These are empty now. But if I go back to the boat, I can either go back to Davin's Watch or I go back to Oradon. And it'll just be that same place. So it's a great way to um, just travel around. You know, you can do it this way or you can do the other way if you don't want to ride too much. Just uh, your choice. Uh, I understand that's a lot of trouble. But, you know, if you need flour, you can at least get enough to be able to uh, do a couple of sugar skulls if that's what you're trying to make. Or if you want to sell it or do your ritz or something like that. Uh, I think this is very helpful and uh, it's not stealing so you don't have to worry about that and for all the people that are like oh man that was a secret oh you gave it away it'll be so crowded no it doesn't matter because these are all instanced so there could be 20 people here and everybody can get it so uh, you know that's not a concern well that's about it for uh, the flower run there is another place that's called the vile mance and uh, I believe it's in Reaper's March. And that place is, uh, has all kind of stuff, not just flour. But it's kind of, uh, you know, pretty random what you get. If we look in uh, Reaper's March, I believe it's here. And I think the name of the uh, public dungeon, yes, there it is right there. So you come to Fort Grimwatch and you just head over here. And um, once you run in there and you find the key out of the boot, go down into the basement. In that kitchen, before you go, there's tons of provisioning supplies. And then not only in the kitchen, when you go downstairs, there's just barrels and barrels and barrels. So, you know, two ways you can get on one character and just uh, port to someone and then port one more time and then come back. Just like we did with the urn thing in Ellsworth. And uh, if you don't want to do that, you could have maybe uh, three characters. Hey, get out of my way, dude. And um, just leave them here. And then early, you know, when you first come on the game, log into those characters and collect your flower. And then log into your main and then start playing. Well, that's about it for today. Please give me a like and a subscribe if you enjoyed the content. Leave a comment in the comment section if there's anything that you'd like to see or if you have an idea about a video. If I like your idea, I just might do it. Join me on Discord, the most chill Discord server on the planet. Got about 300 people in there, and uh, it's picking up. If you're on Xbox One, North American server, you can join my guild. My name is Coyote, C-H-A-O-T-E-Y. Add me as a friend and send me a message, and you can join my guild if you want to. 299 people with no one pending, and 36 members online. Lots of friendly, helpful people to get you the things that you need. Alright, so until that time, let's get paid.